Hey everybody, this is Rhino and we're back to The Walking Dead. Let's continue. Um, I guess there's not really a lot of catch up that needs to happen here. We are going back to warn the others because frankly I feel like the others are incompetent without me. We've run into this whisper character is he awake? who named James. Yeah. He's so hot. AJ's been shot by a shotgun. I don't exhausted. feel like that would have ever changed. Uh, there no, was definitely a point where we could have gone left or gone right. And frankly, I don't think that that would have changed much. AJ does need help. And I probably should have focused more on the idea. This is weird because these sequences in particular are not the free range uh, almost there like they, they, they aren't free range you can walk anywhere you want to scenes it is just Walker. pressing forward Violet Lewis <laughs> they came back <laughs> look you live out there alone right hmm <laughs> you could stay with us. Hmm. Not ready. So yeah, we, we made a friend and then we kind of immediately abandoned the friend. As far as, as far as James, who clearly is a pacifist because he's seen war, whereas so many other pacifists have happened. Other, uh, uh, other people are pacifists because of I can't keep just you. cowardice or other issues inside soon rest now hmm. here we can see lewis has changed his Shit. attitude Is he, uh, he's when he's alive. really not he going to let aj he's got die a fever. come on let's hmm. get him inside he's too nice of a guy which basically shows that you had some leeway and you could have could have done exactly what I did do and focus more on the tough nut to crack in Violet and not be particularly good with Lewis. It's okay, buddy. I got you. Hmm. Clementine looks like she's about to pass out. But yeah, that was certainly a sequence that just went in circles as far as the story. Let me see. Hmm. AJ did a remarkable job of not screaming as we were pulling buckshot out of his stomach. We got the shrapnel out of him. We? Hmm. It's a long story. Hmm. But also, so far we've we've gone like four minutes and well, three minutes, and it's just been a straight cutscene. Uh, we've had no choice He's at running all. Running fever. Body's trying to fight infection. Poor little guy. Hmm. Ruby and Lewis will take care of him. The only thing me, that I we can talk in the office. The only thing I could Clem, think that may have happened differently. You just try to rest. Okay? Is if if we had given okay, the gun to Lewis, right maybe Lewis so, wouldn't have been uh, shot. But that doesn't mean that was the right decision. AJ, and in, to Ruby, inherently, okay? She'll look after you. this is the problem with a lot of split on, branching path when stories. When fear starts to get the upper hand. Let's see. Let's say we don't let it take over. We push. push through it. We see, don't let it take over. That's another example of the I'm story. Like, your prompt's not really being what you say. Well, I, I would really like to see in a game like this. Clementine, uh, please. We need to talk. Like, a button where you could read all the dialogue that's going to be said. At least... Oh, on Clementine's side before you choose an option. Also, if you think about like Mass Effect, Mass Effect had words, some major problems, but at least it had a game That's loop so and it had way more dialogue than this and way more animation than this. When I heard you call so for help, this I didn't game think. really can't match that level of quality. Of course, I wasn't even sure if I'd hit her. Telltale is not when really a shot huge. Six, six inches over, we'd be digging another grave. Yeah. 
so maybe these giant the companies should make it's just everything is so fucked right now hmm. you know everyone is scared Clem hmm. it's really good to see you again hmm. it's good to see you too just be nice to her always just wish nice. Mitch and the others felt the same hmm. Lewis and I told them what happened in the woods that woman who attacked you Lily hmm. so you do know her we were wondering we told the story about Lily who the hell is she I mean I know you're not like with her hmm. group but the others don't like the coincidence her well, showing up right after you I mean let's go with I barely remember I recognized her if she hadn't recognized me first hmm. we were in a group together long time ago hope it was yeah. a different kind of group that didn't fucking steal people come on you know it was different Hmm. Well, she murdered Lee kind of stole you. Gunned them down during an argument. Carly was her name. She refused to let Lily push her around. It was right at the start. I haven't seen Lily since. Hmm. I believe you. But there's something else. Lily said someone was with you at the gates. James. Hmm. He saved me and AJ. Let us stay in his camp for the night. So why did you bring him here? You led him right to us. I mean, he's a stranger, Clem. Running into those two in the woods, hmm. it proved we can't trust anybody. Look, he's not with the raiders. He lives by himself in the woods. Willie said he was hmm. wearing, I don't know, animal skins or something. He was wearing walker skin. That's how he gets past herds. He can guide them, too. Hmm. <sighs> wow. It is possible okay. that he ha is a bad guy. If I thought he was a threat. It's not that I don't trust you. I'm just worried about the others and what they might do. Look, they we didn't even get a chance to mourn Brody and Marlin before these child snatching assholes showed up. This pretty much is back. just gonna be a warning. And... Now they're confused and no one knows how to feel about AJ. Violet, AJ is the least of their worries. I know, but everything is such a mess. They're scared and angry and they're looking for someone to blame. This is I mean, they kicked you definitely out. How am I supposed to make them change their minds about you? A better interaction. Five to three against. I know hmm. it feels like it shouldn't matter, but they were afraid of you. Both of you. Let's see if we Last can convince thing they them. Need is more things to fear right now. You don't have to. Let me hmm. convince them. Yeah, we want to convince him ourselves because we want to play a video James game here. Otherwise, we could just tell he him to be more people tell her to be a more come attack us. Take uh, everyone here. Another Marlin. How the hell would he know? He's watched them for a hmm. while. They're at war with another community. They take people hmm. to fight for them. Is that what happened to Minnie and Sophie? They turn them into soldiers. Yeah, it'll happen. I guess that's pretty much what them. this is. Is that this is literally just taking the child soldiers uh, incidences that have happened, mostly in Africa. Let's just be honest there. Of people place. being kids it's being kidnapped and turned into soldiers, um, and they work. just put a paint of really Western, Westernization on it and Western people. Yeah, I was part of a siege once hmm. in a town called Richmond. Hmm. Here, let me show you. It's also a little surprising that they should have been smarter and drawn this map wrong. That way, this road would have either run right through traps or run down to a completely different area or encoded it in some way okay so yeah what do i want to do i want to fortify the walls we've got good strong walls we need to make them hard to climb over so the raiders have to come in through the gates we used to keep barbed wire in the greenhouse and so that was two different places you could click and then we can set traps and we can divide the courtyard. The courtyard's pretty wide open, not a lot of cover. We should flip the picnic tables, narrow down the pathways through it, hmm. so we'll know which way they're coming. At the very least, it'll give us protection if they get past these walls. Hmm. Yeah. There is a question about where they're getting their electricity from. That never got it answered or asked. This is where we should make our stand. There's only one way in, the front, and then there's the big central staircase. If we rig that hmm. path with traps, we can pull back here. Luring in our attackers. Hmm. I like it. 
and then examine the greenhouse. Here's here's where we're gonna have the new revelation that the adults were killed and they didn't leave. Uh, you guys don't use the greenhouse anymore, do you? No, we used to. Then we lost someone out there. Walkers overran the place and Marlin wouldn't let us go back. Hmm. Safe zone. We need to get that barbed wire so they can't climb the walls. I think I'll we're going to find more than sure? just one walker. It's going to be swarming with walkers in the green now. What's going on? Lily told me she was back, but I was Mitch. like no way. Violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided. Mitch is just setting himself up to down? be the little boy a is new um, His fever's already going down. New but bad guy, it's but gonna be okay. Yeah, right. they were all pretty much just, just dead meat. Medicine too. Mitch, those people who shot Lewis they're arming up to attack the school. We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. Let's see. All I know is that since she showed up, you'll die without trouble. my help. These raiders all carry guns, and they know how to use them. So whatever you think of me and AJ, deal with it, or you're gonna end up dead. I'd rather take my chances. <laughs> Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go too. You know, to keep the peace. See, if we sit, we're, we're going to definitely have a choice here where... Since no one else stepped the fuck up. These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the We We haven't even really seen the seam here, or some of the other characters. So, they're, they're focusing on the the couple of people here that are going See to there. end up being a choice. And we'll pick the, the red-headed lady. Because she'll she's good at medicine, and AJ needs medicine. So inherently, by saving her, we're saving I, AJ. I, But honestly, like 12 minutes into this episode, we've made four or five dialogue choices and that's it. It's it's a really slow game. I mean, you barely can even call it a video game. At a certain point, there are definitely some games or things sold as games on Steam or that are really just videos. And this is getting dangerously close to being just a video. Which would have been fine, frankly. If this okay, had just been a how animated been. cartoon direct to, te to Netflix uh, cartoon and like each season in its own uh, this ain't uh, you gonna stand came there out all day? You gonna do something useful? every six well, months, that, that, that would have been fine. Must be another way in. Uh, it's not like the, the video game elements here are adding much. What's really crazy is that Netflix also very, very quickly proved the fact that uh, Wild Boar. the Telltale too games many in these parts, but they were more would work it, but as an interactive application on a they Netflix player, or at least most Netflix I players. Like it. It'll look good on my wall. And that's why the Telltale Minecraft story mode came came out and succeeded fairly nicely. I played the first season on Netflix and yeah, it wasn't that much different than playing it on a PC. I would also say that Minecraft is probably well suited as a uh, visual aesthetic. Yeah, you definitely get the feeling that they picked The Walking Dead and Minecraft as their art aesthetics because they knew that the Telltale Engine could not do hyper-realistic graphics. Let's try to get what them more want? on our side. Uh, nothing. Hmm. You're only here because we're desperate, you know, so don't get comfy. If we survive hmm. these raiders, you and I are going to have words. Let's survive first. Hmm. Yeah, that didn't really accomplish anything other than... Looks like there's now a place we can climb a ladder to. Mm, I can't see shit. Well, there's too much condensation on the inside. Condensation? 
That's a big word hmm. for you. Shut up. There is definitely a possibility, though, that they are just directly pointing me towards that ladder. That maybe if this girl dies, Ruby, maybe then that would change Mitch's attitude. But there, there's just no room for regret. You just have to make a decision. Just like in real life, you have to make a decision and stick by it. And try not to okay? compromise your... your Decision making it's process been so long since I was here. that much. I used to love this place, but it's so overgrown. I'll be fine. Hmm. Let's just find a way in. Yeah, I, I feel like there probably is a type of people who would have played a game like this and not really enjoyed it at all because they agonized over their decisions and because they thought, or because the game would allow them to think that the story would actually play out any different. When you kind of just that know that I bet we can get in there. it's not the case. At the end of the Mitch, of this season, almost Wait. everybody's going to be dead, or they're going to separate, or we're going to get the surprise me. ending. That's an mm. ugly thing to say. Vi says we need her help, right? She shouldn't mind sticking mm. her neck out. I'll go first. I don't mind. It's it's the right decision. Figured you'd fight it. Thanks, Clem. Clementine is. The better fighter between the three of them, anyways. Otherwise, we'll come as soon as you get the all clear. I guess we'll know when the door so, opens. While I am planning to feed Mitch to a zombie, I'm not going to do it flippantly. I'm going to hold my pawns as much as possible uh, until I can really do need to sacrifice them. And that is really all they are. Maybe in the real world I would be a little bit more generous, but honestly, I don't I don't think so. Like if anything playing this in twenty twenty one there is certainly a level of of, of walking idiots that are walking corpses that they would get themselves killed in a zombie apocalypse very quickly and I think I'm gonna end up hitting this it's a little surprising that there's three zombies here they seem to really love to Get the door open. Somebody barred it from the inside, it looks like, but that could have just been like damage. Hmm. Not bad. Hmm. So you don't even have a response that you oh, get look. to pick. Wild ginger. Eastern prickly pear, Jerusalem artichoke. Solemn and seal. This would be funny if some of these turned out to be find that barbed wire. the anything else that might be useful. Uh, turned out to be the cure to the zombie apocalypse is just some some simplistic plants. Hmm. Find something? Yep, maybe hmm. useful. So we now have a ground tool for digging. Here we have another pry bar, which she puts it in her non-existent backpack because they only animated one scene. And I guess the real question comes down to be a weapon. where we use it to dig a grave. Uh, you weren't there when we dug the holes hmm. for Marlin and Brody. We had to use cups and bowls. It took forever. Hmm. They call those real R E E L lawnmowers. They're, they can be pretty sharp and nasty if they are kept maintained, but they tend to rust and dull fairly quickly. 
even after one season you if you don't care happy. for him. You can only eat the same bland rabbit stew so many times before you go crazy. <laughs> These herbs are going to do wonders for morale. You wait and see. I, I feel like th there's... Some mushrooms are edible. Definitely a case of a greenhouse being too valuable a location to to leave infested with three yes. zombies. Dibs. And you can definitely tell that these these kids are kind of losers. They never stepped up. They never even tried to clean out the greenhouse, Did let you find alone. Anything? Uh, what do you think? Okay, just asking. You know, the barbed wire idea is smart, I'll give you that. Those assholes try and climb our walls, they'll tear their guts out. Hmm. I kind of like to see that. I mean, this feels so much just like you're... You're wandering around the grocery store talking to random strangers. But yeah. The fact that these people didn't even try. Let's eat a mushroom. Sure. <coughs> You're only what? gonna be able to This was for science. Uh test foods somehow. Um there is actually a scavenging system for scavenging whether plants are edible or not, in which you smell it and see if that makes you feel sick. And then you rub it and then wait like two hours. You rub it on like your arm and then wait two hours and see if you break out in a rash or if it irritates your arm in any ways. And then you eat it in a very small group. And that, that is still a last case scenario, though it is not what you by default want to do. And it's fairly easy, depending on what region you are living in or you happen to be in, to misinterpret mushrooms and think the poisonous ones look like the ones that aren't poisonous ones. <clears throat> the dual button quick time events play no good role in this game. Barbed wire. A lot of it too. That should keep the raiders from climbing our walls. They're gonna need gloves. We can use these. For what? We can make bombs out of these. Bombs? Oh, do you know Are how? Are you serious? Totally. It's the kind of stuff I made back home. He used to blow shit up. That's why he's a troubled youth. All right. Guilty. I just need some propane and something to create a spark. And we'll have ourselves a nice little homemade explosive. Sure. Why not? Blow yourself up, Mitch. Of course, you're, you're going to need some gloves to work with barbed wire. Uncover lab door. If I remember right, there's a science lab through that door. Maybe there's propane in there. Come on, help me move this thing. I don't think there was any other collectibles or anything. And I imagine if I messed up this quick time event, I probably not be able to fail it or and I don't think Mitch would get mad at me if I did fail the quick time event that is an idea that certainly ha should have been integrated into systems like this okay let's see what's inside um, so the way this works is Is, is they turn into zombies even if they were killed before the fact. What's going on? You all right? Hmm. We had a scare. I'm a little surprised none of these people recognize the zombies as teachers. Like, where do they come from? Oh no! What? Hmm. Who was she? Miss Martin, our nurse at the school. She yep. stayed when all the others left. I guess all the God. others did leave. She looks. Hmm. 
She's got flowers growing through her, and Can that doesn't barely recognize her. Uh, She's just, just like all the others. I'm sorry, Ruby. You can kind of see I, how they don't even make I good fertilizer. Wish I could make her and the look like she used to. Plants. I'm not going to. One day we came out looking for food. Walkers attacked us. Thought we You're going to turn off, your back to a moving so many. zombie? That's really dumb. Ms. Martin told us to run. So we did. <laughs> she taught me how to patch people up. <laughs> Stitching. Local anesthetics, painkillers, fever It's reducers. so obvious that each of these characters is just allotted a Take small amount of time to give their backstory and characterization. I'm sorry. Well, by all means. Clementine is good at this. If anything, the, the theme here probably should be something along the lines of all the other kids are going to die and Clementine is going to be the only survivor because Clementine is the best survivor and all the other kids are you okay? did not learn yeah. from Lee Just need a minute. and Come on, guys. they did not me find that propane and we adapt can to their new situation hmm so did she zip tie herself, or did she just get caught on the, uh, like, on the trellis there? Or did she get trapped there? Ms. I keep Martin thinking that there's you, huh? something more she nefarious that's going to be stayed. revealed, but she saw us for what we were. Honestly, I'm not sure a writer's wanted. could even write something like that. Did. Like, really loved us. Hmm. Yeah. I've known people like that. I guess everyone has. Hmm. But yeah, you can't inspect that. Ugh, looks like piss. Dare you to drink it? Not in a million years. Wimp. Well, for all the drinking of things, she's already done. Neaten. Uh, Mitch, of things. is this useful? Fucking A. I was hoping there'd be one of those. That's an igniter. We can use it to create a spark. Now we just have to find propane. We can blast those motherfuckers to hell. I feel like they're giving you a fake combination here. Also, of chemicals. Typically, in all forms of storytelling and art, the police heavily suggest and ask that people not give bomb making instructions I that whole don't know what this is. anarchist cookbook thing came about and and people were not happy with the free sharing of dangerous information <laughs> that's probably ammonia So let's see if we can look at the chalkboard and see anything here that looks interesting. Well, I see something that looks like maybe water, H2O obviously, uh, and chlorine, and maybe hydrochloric acid, and then AU is like gold, and AG is some other is what aluminum maybe i don't know yeah chemistry not my strong suit clementine probably has never seen any of that at all like she would have no idea what it is remember she was only nine years old when this whole zombie apocalypse happened if anything there there is a decent number of subjects that she would just be completely ignorant on and they just probably won't be useful subjects to have knowledge on or they, they might be useful but they're unlikely to ever be picked up or learned and meanwhile as you're wandering around the open world 
sections here. You're just collecting collectibles. You seem to know a lot about bombs. Well, I made my first one when I was eight. Really? I blew up the garage. It was awesome. <laughs> Though, Dad didn't think it was awesome. Dad gave me a chemistry set to keep me from fighting the neighbors. Uh, why would you fight the neighbors? <laughs> I had a lot of energy. I had to use it somehow. And they didn't like my face. There's a purple goo. It's also fairly unbelievable, though, if we do find the cure to the zombie apocalypse because of Mitch. That just does not <sighs> make Let's enough sense. Gas in it. <laughs> yeah, Interesting. Perfect. Here. You get halfway through the quick time event and then it it stops. Good, fine. Now we have everything we need. We should get back and tell the others. We have to bury Ms. Martin first. Hmm. Bury her? Why bother? It's a walker. Help me drag it out back. We can burn it. No. Ms. Martin's hmm. the reason we're all alive. And? She deserves a proper burial here. I agree, yes. Not Next now. To the greenhouse she loved. That way the others won't have to see her like this. She's well, been dead for years. There's no point. I guess we have a she choice here. A real burial. Is it really? I'll help you bury her. It's the right thing to do. Interesting. You could so kind of do neither. About. Thank you so much. In that case. It's not a her. It's a walker. Hmm. Fine. Whatever. Troop morale is important. I'm wasting my energy on that thing. But also, they need to be desperately preparing for uh, for this I'll assault. I'll put a stone in the graveyard back at the school. Bet Ms. Martin hmm. loved this place. She'd be happy here. I'll make sure everyone knows you helped me. That hmm. you've got a, a good heart under all that muck. <laughs> hey. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose there's no real plan here to at least leave one male potential Think it'll be enough? companion for Clementine. It means Lily and her people but there's plenty of the kids, male we'll kids anyway, so we can plan for that. I seriously do doubt if we do have extra survival survivors at the end of this story, it'll probably be a mix of male and females. And the only reason you would re really need that is be if it was a case of a time skip happens at the end and Clementine ends up pairing up with some male and ends up having having a um, kid and they make a whole nother generation which I don't Rocky even know bees. if that's the right choice in a zombie I apocalypse shirt got messed up when you know that Where did you get easily those? could have been the solution to back when he got here should be about AJ's size. Yeah. How's he doing? It's crazy Better? that Tim fever's down. is in this delinquent, like, Thank you for carrying him in. boarding school. He's, no like, way too y young. But I imagine so that is probably again. the case in the and real world. Mitch's is that there idea. are really, really young kids that should not we'll be put up ready in the with other delinquents Good. that are really old. They all seem okay with letting you stay. Mm. For now, anyway. While we get ready to fight. Yeah, I'm glad. All I've wanted is for them to forgive us. I said they're See, fine with this being is here, at least till the raiders are gone. Just manipulation in that response. Like you again. Everyone else is okay with us staying. What about you? It's fine. Well, he gets better. It, and after that? It doesn't help know, a lot. Clem? To hey, kiddo. How do you feel? Rub it in their face that they ben. need her. Still hurts. I know. Hmm. Hi, Louis. Hmm. Hey, little dude. I missed you. Are we friends again? They they missed him for like less than a day. Just get some sleep, okay? Hmm. Louis. 
Let's, I guess, go with I'm sorry we hurt you. I'm sorry that you're hurting and uh, it's our fault. It wasn't all you. Marlin, he... Lewis will remember that. Forget it. I should go. Marlin effectively broke the overtrusting nature Are you? of this he group. Carry me. And he was by my bunk when Ruby gave me stuff. Let's Medicine. see. AJ, I was never mad at him. Hmm. I understand why he acted that way. Why he wanted us gone. I don't. Hmm. I was right. I know, kiddo. People are complicated. Let's get a look at the shirts Lewis brought you. Yeah, Clementine and definitely we'll feels... It's been a long day. Feels like she's yeah. being voiced by a different voice actress now. James was nice. I don't feel like it's... I don't like sleeping on the ground. Me neither. Hmm. Yeah, I don't feel like that fully matches. So we can now do some more decorating. We're planting a new flower that that one might survive. Yeah, I, I guess if there's a time skip for it and Clementine does have a a child, maybe the children of this world will that be immune looks scary. Oh, it to is. the zombie it's a fly virus. Trap. It eats bugs. A plant can eat bugs? Hmm. <laughs> That's so, so awesome. But you don't look at this and you can't look in the drawer. Here we can place the mushroom. I wonder how long it'll last. Hmm. And we know we missed one collectible. But maybe that was the nice. collectible that we missed. In the first episode, I think probably not. We, I think we will probably never have all the collectibles Pretty unless cool. I just spend extra efforts to go back and play the first episode all the way through. That's a weird plant. It's a mm. fungus. A fungus? Doesn't look fun. Mm. Yeah, she should tell him not to eat it. That way we can open the door. You can't look at things we've already looked at. And see, this is just the most obvious skin swap, palette swap that they've done before. So, let's see. Do we want the science dog shirt? Or the sporting shirt? Or the disco broccoli shirt? I feel like we have to do the Disco Broccoli shirt because I'm still not sure where that toy came came about. They they skipped over a very important thing there. Unless there's actually a note secretly written under here. Uh, otherwise, we're pushing AJ to being sporty, and he's sporty enough. Or be sciency, which... I mean, he could be a little bit more sciency, but... I think more and more emotional he, he should be hey, look it's disco broccoli and his friend <sighs> i wish you could have seen this cartoon me too apparently i don't know if this is a veggie tales reference or what hey this one's pretty cool it looks like marlin's jacket he doesn't want that mm, yeah but it would still look good on you how about this one it looks like Tin's boots. Oh, yeah. I think it's the same character. Cool. So, do we want to go with his favorite? Or do we want him to be closer to Tennis C? Hmm. Eh. After those responses, I feel like getting him closer to Tennis C is the better move. Hmm, this one will work. You can put it on when you feel better, okay? Yeah. Time for sleep. I can't sleep with the light. I'll blow it out in a second. She doesn't do any kind of nighttime stories or anything. Which I guess in the zombie tight. apocalypse you can't... Walk bite. You, know, you don't tries. have time to <sighs> go through the shenanigans that normally happen when you're trying to put a... A kid to sleep that normally does not want to go to sleep. <sighs> hmm. 
which once again puts AJ as a remarkable child. Uh, so remarkable, it's not realistic. Like, I would have thought that he would have cried at least after being shot. And apparently eating the mushroom did not cause me to hallucinate. Because this would have been a good point for a hallucination to have happened. Yeah, why the time jump there? Why are we having this whole time jump hit now? I guess they just felt it was necessary to show that AJ was healing and that several days were taking place. And I guess James is still living out in the forest. Yeah, I see no reason to skip two weeks later. And we've definitely fortified this, and this is definitely going to go at least half bad. There's no way all these kids are getting out of this. They, they needed to be trained to fight and to have that killer mentality. And that's just not something that we have seen being implemented into any of the kids. AJ? Let's see, now she's having a nightmare. Where are you? She hears AJ when he was a baby. She did, in the main story, give up AJ at different points. So, it wasn't really like she raised him from a baby. Um, she just saved him as a baby, then gave him to, I believe, that, that area of Richmond. Uh, and see, this is like a reference to something at the beginning of the story, uh, in the first season. But, and we did have, in the first season, a, like, nightmare dream sequence. And, once again, never go this way. So it was kind of pointless for them to even have two doors. They may have, they might as well have just barricaded everything up to this point. AJ. But I guess Richmond got overrun or kicked him out eventually. And I may be thinking of a different temporary safe location besides Richmond that seems to be the way it always works in The Walking Dead is that you will maybe get some safety for a year or two and then foods and resources start running scarce and then everybody ends up going crazy or they end up getting attacked. People just constantly getting more AJ. Uh, desperate. Which really justifies the idea of being just a psychopathic murderer from the day one of a zombie apocalypse and killing as many humans as possible because they will eventually become problems and they will eventually become uh, drains on your resources. Which, honestly, I wouldn't be upset you were a nightmare. with the idea. Same one you used to have all the time. Um, about what happened at the ranch. <laughs> I'll be okay. Just give me a minute. Like, hey, if she was to just there? kill all the other people in this facility now Did that it's been fortified. Dream, it would be psychopathic, certainly, but You've I could understand the idea. Hmm. He's on his toes. I feel safer like this, not sleeping. I want to stay up forever. I probably could. Hmm. Like 18 days. If I tried hard. Let's see. I don't know about that. 
I've never met anyone who could go more than a few days without sleep. Hmm. Then I'll be the first. If we were in danger, then I would. I have heard of a few people, like one out of several billion, that, Here, that seem to, to have no. never needed to sleep. And there, of course, are people that just do checking. drugs that keep you stay awake. Say, be tough. But the, so the mental degradation see, of not sleeping and I will. is terrible. All the time. I raised you to be strong, not stupid. I'm mm. not. Shutting people out when they're trying to help you? That's mm. stupid. Please, don't call me stupid. I'm sorry you had to do all the hard work. Showing them I'm good and smart. Smarter than them. Hmm. I'm going to help you more, so you don't have to do everything. Where are you going? On patrol. Patrol? For hmm. danger. Bad people. Monsters. Whatever you hmm. have nightmares about. What if you stayed here instead? Hmm. If you go back to sleep, I'll stay awake and make sure no more bad dreams come. Hmm. You can't do that. You're not magic. <laughs> How do you know? Maybe I have magic and never told you. <laughs> no, you don't. This is a sweet conversation. I wish there was more of this in the story up until what this is point. It? Can I... Could I maybe sleep in your bed? Like I did when I was little? Hmm. Yeah. Come on up. I I'm not scared. Just tired. Makes sense to me. Think you need that? I could see particularly sleeping in a car, it getting AJ? particularly cold, and then sleeping what? together a lot for warmth. You're still little. Hmm. Yeah, I know. But, yeah. There is certainly the danger that you're going to have to assume as a, as a woman that she's going to get accidentally groped by even a nine-year-old as he's rolling around in sl <sighs> his sleep. You ready to work today, kiddo? Bad dreams always make me more tired. Me too. I slept better in your bed. Hmm. It's my turn. AJ could develop a crush on Clementine. Which does bring about an interesting idea. Do the old social norms really need to be maintained at that point? Because at a certain level, pickings might get slim. Almost two weeks. So has everyone. Um, Get as far as yourself. romantic partners, like poor Tennessee and AJ don't have a female uh, hey, little girl. I thought Lily to, and Abel would show up days ago. That they I might be interesting. Off. Don't uh, know. Interested All in. I wanted was more time to prepare, but now this waiting hmm. sucks and everyone's on edge. Hmm. Need my help? Yeah, actually. Could you check on everyone and make sure they're doing shit right? Sure, I'm on it. Hmm. Thanks, Clem. I should go board up the back hallway, since Lewis isn't going to do it. Yeah. At a certain level, you do have to say if Clementine were to start, like, a romantic interaction with AJ, she, she would frankly be in a, such a overpowering position of power that that would be inappropriate. But I could certainly see it happening. I could certainly see AJ developing a crush. Let's see. I don't think Rosie's likely to to be much help at this point. Spin on Marlon's grave. No, that's not going to help anything. What are you doing down there, Rosie? 
Let's see. Good girl. What did Marlin used to do? <laughs> yeah, Rosie is probably the easiest one to get on your side. Spin on Marlin's grain. Look at Brody's grain. I hope it's beautiful where you are, Brody. And apparently there's no, um, no, like, prey or counter thought to spinning on Marlin's grave. Is Miss Martin's grave. Martin, thanks for protecting everyone. There's a lot of people here that it becomes really hard to care about well, nothing left we can use wonder if they ever tried to rebuild it after it burned down hmm. burnt down do we really know a reason why it burnt down there's probably some collectibles somewhere around here that maybe I'll find hey what are you doing? Mm, test. Gotta see if the bomb will go off. Hmm. This little thing won't kill anybody. Just gotta see if it'll light. Yeah, it better. Our whole plan <laughs> rests on that little thing. If they get in, I'll need you to set the bomb off while I distract them. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, something like that. I, I read that on one of those stupid inspirational posters. School used to have them everywhere. As soon as things went to shit, I tore them all down. Expect the unexpected Stupid is shit. not uh, could you something to teach. Uh, my hands all fucked up from messing with it all day. It, it's not something to teach a kid. It'd be funny if he's literally just trying to blow you up. Stand back. Hmm. Fucking shit. If it doesn't work. Hmm. Fucking shit. See, none of these people I'm feel sure like they are Keep trying. that It's not like I got all terrible. the time in the world to play scientist and figure this shit out. I'll figure it out. I just need more time. Alone time like. to think. I get it. I'll leave you alone. Thanks, though, for helping. You, you would half expect for what I, I still have to say was effectively a jail. It's just so far out from any city... They clearly were hiding the kids away uh, in this. You, you would have to expect this, him not to have just blown up a uh, garage or maybe caused a big fire or something um, for him to have murdered some people or severely injured people. All these heads might convince James to not join the group because James is such a pacifist. Also, I don't see the heads on the, on the pikes really accomplishing much. Like, a battle is first fought in the mind of its soldiers, sure, but I don't feel like Lily or Abel are going to end up getting scared away, or any of the raiders will end up scared away uh, because work. of has to because of just the zombies they're, they're turning me around do you think Sophie and Minnie might be with hmm. them when they get here I don't know maybe hmm that would be a mistake certainly of the danger if the Raiders like showed up with no his sisters that's totally different than patrol how so hmm. you don't walk oh right hmm They've, like, completely barricaded this. This brings about the question as far as food. Where where did they get their... Those. The last two weeks' sources of food from? Um, hmm. A little surprised she, she succeeded at that. Because if they're... 
wandering around. I still wouldn't want to pledge to that. Basically the exact same line of dialogue, which is the word still added at the front. <laughs> you do break shafts on bows and break Shit. arrow What's points and things like that weeks, so or days or hours, the raiders will be here. while you do need Burn to practice you typically us. wouldn't be using well, hunting no how much arrowheads you use practice arrowheads and steal anybody we'll stop it hopefully you would have enough you sound like marlin uh, like i mean not about arrows. fighting but when he was trying to cheer us all up for years, I sat around making stupid jokes, mm. playing stupid games, while my best friend was left with all the responsibility, mm. all the tough calls, all the sleepless nights. Yeah, he's he's just wasting arrows a like bullet crazy. In the head. And I didn't do a damn thing about it. Mm. And then when you tried to tell us what he was really like, and AJ shot him, I blamed you. Both of you. Mm -hmm. If I could take it back, I would. I knew that the day you got back, hmm. I, I still do. I forgive you. As I easy the response to say angry. I forgive you. Just we're once again just friend, manipulating almost him. Almost like my brother, but the things he did, they were fucked up. It would be funny, but not really worth the effort to try and play Here, one of these. T you take it. A Walking Dead games and sure? just be I a mean, total a hole. Marlins. Yeah, it was. Hmm. And he used it to defend the school before. Before he stopped. Go ahead. Try it. Hmm. In that direction, please. So, I guess the question is do I want to be a better shot? Because this just disarms just so you know, the worst. I'm totally laughing out loud when you miss. Hmm. Okay, hold left trigger to aim. <laughs> and then let's go ahead and see where that puts it uh, this this is such a short distance for a compound bow is there something else to shoot at like am I supposed to miss because I think I could do this pretty much all day damn Remind me to never piss you off while I'm standing at a moderate distance with a big red circle painted <laughs> on my chest. You want to come back and practice more? Just let me know. Okay? Sounds good. So it Any feels fun? like they may. Thank you. Very well. For all of it. Just force you to. Uh, to shoot, and you'll just have free sh shooting as an option. And you're going to need a lot more arrows than that, certainly. And it feels like I could talk to this guy again. Hmm. Oh, I picked up the bow. So it would be funny if I Robin Hooded an arrow. I wouldn't be surprised if there's like an achievement for doing a lot of this. I thought that said fix up the bow. But it said pick up. That's another problem is because they're not really controlling what you're looking at. Uh, th there's no real snap here where the camera shifts from one direction to another to, to make it a little bit more obvious and we can't get over to where the chamber is the basement I don't think we're gonna do anything with the basement get some interesting wind noises uh, undoubtedly you have to just assume that the story is going to progress and they're going to attack as soon as we uh, talk to Violet. That's the only thing that even slightly makes sense. 
it, it also there's like where is the scene where are some of the other characters they they've kind of disappeared completely from the story um yeah. pretty clear message so I guess I could go back and talk to this guy again if I wanted to. Hmm. Hopefully this at least creeps the raiders out. Hmm. Trying to just look at everything to make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah. I I figured this is where this was going to go. Interesting. Looks like it, there's a church on the grounds. So not only is this a boarding house for delinquent use, it's also potentially a religious boarding house for delinquent use. Um, but yeah, if there was some kind of revelation that the adults here abuse them, it's just going to be redundant. They left them to die, obviously. Um, and while that may be a sad revelation, it's not really going to affect anything at the moment. Unless it turns out that the raiders, part of the raiding party, is the adults that that ran this, this boarding school. Boy, does it not feel like we really accomplished much in that hour. And honestly... We very well may have a 30 minute experience or less in the next episode where we are just fighting the raiders off and we probably will succeed, but maybe at great cost. I wouldn't be surprised if we see fire as an element introduced and the school gets burnt down uh, either by the bombs or just by flaming arrows by the raiders or something like that. and at that point maybe all the students have to surrender um there really isn't enough time though for the whole next season to to be that all the kids that we've bonded together in, in this school end up being forced as child soldiers for the raider group um then potentially i guess i'm secretly trying to overthrow the uh Raider group. If anything, I imagine it would just be another abrupt sequence where if we do get kidnapped by the Raiders, then James will show up with a whole bunch of walkers and overrun the Raider group. And then at that point, maybe James gets revealed as a bad guy, but I don't really buy that one either. Yeah. Since the story is going so slowly, I don't even really know where the story is going to go. It just feels like things are going to happen, and then the story will end. At, at its basicness, that's true in every story, but particularly in this case, it feels like we, we are going to have no big revelations, no big uh, reveals, uh, and no, no major twists. And while I am now enjoying the fact that I, I kind of am starting to care about these characters, what we've been trained in three previous uh, seasons of Walking Dead with Clementine, plus a couple more season uh, Walking Dead games, is that you just can never get comfortable with anybody, that they all end up dying eventually. Anyways, that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. And if you want to support me further, there's a link to Patreon, or you can friend me on Steam and gift me a game off my wishlist. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.